Welcome to this video. Here we are going to solve a original IBPS PO 2015 question from the quadratic equations. Here I am writing down the equation. Let me take the pen. See it is given 2x square plus 19x plus 45 equal to 0. See I will tell you a method. Normally what we do is we will multiply 2 into 45 then 90 then we try to split that. Don't do that. Directly drop this 2 and directly split this 45 as 2 numbers. Now I split this number as 5 into 9. What I do is I just combine these 2 numbers that is 2 and 5. That is 2 into 5 will be what 10. And then this 9 is remaining. This 9 I drop as it is. Now when I multiply 10 and 9 I will get 90. That is 2 into 45 is product is 90. Correct? At the same time when I add 10 plus 9 I will get the middle value 19. Correct? That means this is my roots. So very easily, very conveniently I can split the values and find the roots very very easily. Clear? Now you know very well with this x square you have a coefficient is 2. Then to find the roots we need to divide this value by 2. Similarly this value by 2. Because here along with the x square I have a value called 2. I need to, I need to divide by that. So I am dividing by 2. And at the same time you also need to remember when you when you are finding value like this you must remember uh, it will be negative value. It will be what? Negative value. Because you need to change the sign. Correct? At the end always you must change the sign. Then only you will get the root. So now I get minus 10 by 2 is nothing but minus 5. Comma. And minus 9 by 2 is nothing but minus 4.5. That's it. Here I solved the equation very very easily and conveniently. Now I have 2y square. This is the original question from the IBPS PO 2015. Clear? So 2y square plus 11y plus 12 which is equal to 0. Now as I told you, you must remember 2 into 12 is 24. Taking 24 trying to split will definitely waste your, you will be wasting your time. So simply drop the 2 as it is and simply split the 12. How you can split the 12? You can split it as 3 into 4. Clear? Now, when you combine, when I combine this 2 and 3, that is 2 into 3, what do you get? You will get 6 and you will drop the 4 as it is. Now, when I multiply, I will get 24. But when I add, I am not get, getting 11. The middle value 11. I am getting only 10. That means this is not the roots. Now, I will combine the same 2 with the another number. This 2 when I combine with the 4. What is 2 into 4? I will get 8. And then this 3 will is remaining. This 3 I will drop as it is. Now when I multiply 8 into 3. What do you get? 24. At the same time when I add 8 plus 3. What do you get? You will get 11. The middle value. That means this is my roots. Now very conveniently I can find the roots. Now I need to divide this 8 as well as 3 by 2 because the y square is having a coefficient of 2. So I will divide by 2. At the same time you must change the sign. So this positive value I am changing as negative. This positive value I am changing as negative. Now when I divide minus 8 by 2 I will get minus 4. At the same time when I divide minus 3 by 2 I will get minus 1.5. Now I, my job is to compare x and y which is the greater one or which is a smaller one or which is equal or which, uh, whether it is cannot be determined or not or relationship cannot be established or not. I need to find that. Correct? Now, I need to compare it. See, when I try to compare, what I do is simply I put a number line. I put a number line. Here I mention as 0. Here it is minus 1. Here it is minus 2. Here it is minus 3. Here it is minus 4. Here it is minus 5. Clear? See, I can compare x and y in different ways. But in this case, the both the sides, the values are negative. So I just represent the negative values. Clear? Now, first let me take the x value. x, x value is minus 5. 
So this place I will get x, correct? And then the another x value is minus 4.5. So in between 5 and 4, I am representing uh, 4.5. So I will get here x. Then y value. What is y value? y value is minus 4. That means this is minus 4. I will get y value here. The coordinating point is here. And then the another y value is what? Minus 1.5. So between 1 and 2, I will write the another y value. Clear? Now, you know very well, the closer the negative value to the 0 will be the greater value. And far away negative value will be smaller value. That you know that. Clear? That means the y value, both the y values are very very close, are closer to 0 and both the x values are far away from 0 when compared to y. That means y is a greater value and x is a smaller value. That means I will get x is less than y. That's it. That means my answer will be third option. Is it clear? See, there are a lot of ways we can compare the x and y values. One of the ways is by simply uh, drawing a number line and then comparing the values. Clear? Now, we will move on to the next question. Now, here the equation is, again, this is also original question from the IBPS PO 2015 prelims. So, I am taking 6x square plus 19x plus 15, which is equal to 0. Now, what I do is I will simply split the 6 as 2 into 3. Similarly, this 15 I will split as 5 into 3. Now, I try to combine and find the value of the, uh, I finding, finding the roots for this equation. Now, when I combine 2 and 5, what you get? You will get 10. When I combine 3 and 3, what do you get? You will get 9. That is 2 into 5 is 10, 3 into 3 is 9. See, when I add 10 and 9, I am getting 19, the sum values. At the same time, when I multiply 10 and 9, I will get 90. That means 6 into 15 will be 90. That means this is my roots. Clear? So, very conveniently, very easily, you can split like this. Clear? Now, I am writing 10 here. I am writing 9 here. This 10, I need to divide by what? The coefficient. What is the coefficient? 6 is the coefficient. Similarly, in here also, I need to divide by 6. And you need to remember you always change the sign. Here it is both values are positive. Then I need to change the sign as negative. See, you know very well, when you uh, cancel this by 2, I am here I will get 5, here I will get 3. Correct or not? Here I will get 5, here I will get 3. When you divide 5 by 3, what do you get? You will get 1.6. Correct? This is minus 1.6. Again, when you divide minus 9 by 6, you will get minus 1.5. Correct? Okay. Now, we'll move on to the next value. That is fine to find the value of y. So, here in x value, I am getting minus 1.6 and minus 1.5. Now, we move on to the y value. Y, square, y value, I am writing just, I am writing the equation 3y square plus 11y plus 10 equal to 0. See, honestly, I am telling you, in the exam, it is not required, you need to write the equation. For your understanding only, I am writing the equation here. You can directly write these steps in your paper, if you need. Clear? Now, I will drop the 3 as it is, and this 10, I will split as 5 into 2. Clear? Now, when I combine this 3 into 5, what do you get? You will get 15. And when... And the remaining 2 you will drop as it is. So 15 into 2 will be 30. But 15 plus 2 will be will not be 11. That means this combination is wrong. Now what I do is I will combine the 3 with the next value 2. That means 3 into 2 will be what? 6. And then the remaining value 5 I will drop as it is. Now when you add 6 and 5 you will get the 11. At the same time when you multiply 6 and 5 you will get the 30. That is the product. That means this is my roots. Now, as I told you earlier, you need to divide by the coefficient. So, I need to divide the 6 by the coefficient of y square is 3. And similarly here by 3. And both values are positive. Then you need to change the sign. So, I am putting a negative value. Then 6 by 3 is what? I will get minus 2, comma. This minus 5 by 3 is what? Minus 1.6. Clear? Minus 1.6. Now, 
you need to combine you need to compare the x value and y value and then you need to answer which is the greater one which is a smaller one or cannot be determined you need to answer the question now i am writing x value here i am writing x value here see here i am writing minus 1.6 this value minus 1.6 and here i am writing this another x value minus 1.5 this x value i need to compare with the y value clear now minus 2 and minus 1.6 are the two values of y i am writing y here i am writing y here here what i do is one value of y minus 2 i am writing here the another value of y i am writing here minus 1.6 i am writing here to compare with the this minus 1.6 similarly i am writing the minus 2 of y here and minus 1.6 here to compare with this minus 1.5 of x value now when you compare this two values you know very well minus 1.6 and minus 2 which is a uh, greater one of course minus 1.6 is the greater one because smaller the negative will be the greater so that means this minus 1.6 when i when you compare compare with the minus 2 this will be greater that is x will be greater similarly when i com compare this Minus one point six and minus one point six. I will get equal symbol because both are equal. Now I move on to the next comparison. When I compare the minus one point five and minus two, definitely you know very well minus one point five is a greater one because smaller negative will be the greater value. So I will get greater than symbol. At the same time, I will be comparing this minus one point five with the minus one point six. Again, the smaller negative value will be the greater one. So that means this will be the greater one. so i am getting the four symbols like x e, uh, that is greater than equal to again greater than again greater than here which is the common one means you are getting greater than symbol and then equal symbol then my answer will be greater than or equal to that means x greater than or equal to y that's it then what is my answer here is my answer second option see one thing you need to understand splitting the equation is a really a very very simple task if you uh, split the way which i told you clear i hope you understood it very clearly i will be uploading more videos on uh, exam point of view and whatever the exam whatever the question real question came in the previous exam that only i'm going to discuss in all the other topics so keep in touch with the channel i will meet you in a next video till then it's bye from balaji please take care of your preparation see you bye bye